it's Marianne. Welcome to my very first travel vlog of 2023. I'm currently in New York City walking the High Line. We'll sing down for now to do this intro. And I'm trying to walk all the way to Pier 57 because I'm attending YouTube's API event at their Google office. And this is my second year going. I was there last year. This is where I actually got this YouTube hoodie. And I'm excited because that was the very first like creator influencer event I ever got invited to. So I'm excited to do that. And I know influencers and creators kind of get like criticized or critiqued for like being in the bubble, especially like it's at creator events. But like for me, I'm like in Maryland, Washington DC area, there's not really a lot of creators. So this is like my only opportunity to really like connect with other creators. And I like doing it because I get to form relationships with them. And not just like for cloud or anything, it's just like, you know, have someone or people to relate to what you're doing, as well as like also inspire you and motivate you as well as a creator so i'm really excited about that i can't wait to see old acquaintances old friends in this like the ones that i met last year in here like last year i met amanda reach Lee, and i don't know if she's gonna be in this one i doubt it but i hope to meet like a lot more new creators and also of course meet the friends that i've met last year because i've missed them I haven't seen them in a while so yeah so let's make our way to year 57 and walk down the high line city so it's nice to have like places like the High Line to get to like different destinations and like from my hotel to Pier 57 it's the same amount of time if I took the subway or even like Lyft or Uber so like walk why not walk right it's more economical sustainable and like I said the weather is great and we get to see so many plants see so many sites along the way and it's like a little over a mile so it's not bad of a walk i'm hungry though i haven't eaten aside from like the bagel that i packed with me on my ride here like i took the amtrak train but they're gonna serve food at the event and they always have good food at google so really excited about that i'm sorry <laughs> i got this in this picture left the infinity room which is small like we had like 60 seconds to be inside but it was pretty cool and the lines were pretty quick so we were 
on a busy day where like the lines are wrapped around the block it's just like a short line so I looked up there but, uh, yeah so now I guess I'm off back to my hotel just to rest and get some food <laughs> Hi everyone, so I just finished getting ready. I'm in the bathroom and I can't turn off my like, bath vent, so if you hear it, I'm sorry. I can even hear people flushing <laughs> in the next room, but that's okay. Uh, so today is my second day here in New York. I'm going home tonight, but my train doesn't leave until like 8 p.m. So after I check out the hotel, I'm going to the Met. I haven't been to the Met. Every time I go to New York, as I, I always like say I'm gonna go to the Met, but it's just like so kind of far off the way. But today I didn't really want to like do anything outside. I just want to be indoors because I thought it was going to be like really hot because it's Memorial Day weekend and everything. But yesterday was actually kind of like cold and windy, even though it was like really sunny. And today I don't know what the weather is going to be, but I just want to stay indoors. And the Met has actually a couple of great exhibits going on. The very first one is the Karl Lagerfeld one. If you watch the Met Gala, you see that he was the theme or his career was the theme. And I know people have feelings about Karl Lagerfeld. So I get if you don't like that I'm going to see him or see his exhibit. But his exhibit is not really the one that I'm really excited to see or what I decided to go to the Met. But since I'm going to be there anyways, why not check it out? But the one that I really want to go to is the Vincent Van Gogh Cypress. So they have loaned the Met a lot of his works. I guess from Europe, I'm not sure. So I want to go see that and also check out the Met Rooftop Garden. It has opened and there's also an exhibit going on up there that I really, really want to check out. So that's where we're headed to. I actually wanted to also go to the Museum of Natural History in New York because they just opened the Gilded Center, the Butterfly Garden, and they have the Invisible World exhibit too as well as like other fun exciting exhibit but when i tried to buy tickets because the national museum is still like a time entry ticket and like the mat i couldn't get any more tickets for like the butterfly garden and so it's kind of like i mean that's kind of like the main thing that i really want to see at the natural history museum if not we have one in dc <laughs> for free so why pay like 40 dollars to go in if i'm not gonna go see what i want Plus, I think it's a permanent exhibit over there, and like the Vincent Van Gogh in the Met, which only lasts up until like I think August 27th. So I just decided to go to the Met and not do the Museum of Natural History. And people say, anyways, it's impossible to do both in one day. So I'm glad I just bought tickets to one. So that's what I'm gonna do. Headed over there. I'm still in my hotel, filming a couple of stuff for Pinterest, and after that, I'm gonna head out. So I'll see you at the Met.
top of the mat. So that's it for my NYC vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Yesterday there was sun in